Hey everyone, happy Saturday. Hopefully your day's off to a great start so far and happy weekend for you. Meteorologist Chandler Jordan out of our first alert weather center. Temperatures out there if you're leaving out anytime soon. Mild and you know, pretty comfortable considering it's still an August like morning. It's as warm as 78 right now in St. Matthews. Good morning to Winsboro also coming in at a mild 77 right now. Just a touch cooler throughout portions of Lancaster where it's 75 even in Bishopville down to 73 degrees. So we do have some cooler spots this morning, but still not so bad with it being the start of August out there. First alert satellite radar drive this morning, couple of clouds at times and really, you know, not only this morning, but even into the afternoon. We stay dry. We'll keep a couple of fair weather clouds around, but for the most part, beautiful day for us. If you're headed out to the coast or maybe into the upstate or if you're hanging around town, spending some time outside at the lake or pool, definitely would recommend it. Of course, just remember to have your sunscreen handy because of our mostly sunny skies. A lot of UV rays are going to make it down to the surface for us today. And even this afternoon, just a few clouds out there. High temperatures are going to make it into the low and mid 90s, so it's still very warm for us this afternoon. Humidity is still there, though it's not going to be super humid compared to some of the days that we've had in the recent past. Now, we are dry from start to finish. Tomorrow, 20% chance of rain. Don't bank on it ruining any of your plans if you're hoping to spend some time at the lake or at the pool. And even as we head into the start of next week, our rain chance is limited, though it looks like Monday in particular. Monday afternoon and Monday evening. That's going to be, I think, the best day of the next five where we could have the opportunity for some showers and some thunderstorms to make their way into the Midlands. So here's our humidity or muggy meter through the next few days. Of course, our air mass still very humid, summer like even as we head into Monday as we await the arrival of this cold front on Monday, we could even briefly get into the tropical feeling air. That's where it's extremely sticky on your skin something that we're typically used to for this time of the year. And then as this cold front drops through the region Monday afternoon and into Tuesday, notice with it, our humidity really starts to dip off to where we have some comfortable air for us by the middle of this upcoming week, thanks to this cold front that's dropping into the region. Now, with this change in energy like we're going to have with this cold front, that also means we'll have the opportunity for one or two stronger thunderstorms out there along this frontal boundary. I think the better chance of that is going to be to the north and west of Columbia up towards the upstate. Certainly one or two of our thunderstorms on Monday afternoon will have the capability of producing some stronger gusts of wind anywhere from 40 to 60 miles per hour. There could also be some pockets of heavy rain and a couple of these stronger storms are going to produce a lot of lightning. So keep that in mind as we head into the start of the week. But this weekend, try to get out there, try to enjoy it, especially today. Dry from start to finish tomorrow for most of us dry from start to finish. Highs will make it into the mid 90s, upper 90s by Monday afternoon. That's where a cold front blows through. That's where we have the opportunity for a strong storm or two as well. By the middle of the week, thanks to the cold front getting on out of here, a little cooler, a little less humid as well. Highs only in the low 90s and then Thursday, Friday we will pick up showers and thunderstorms again and our opportunities for showers and storms will hang with us into this upcoming weekend. Highs only in the low 90s. Stay with us. We'll be right back after the break.